I'm Dr. Johnson from Premier Smile Center and I want to give you a little bit of insight about a question that a lot of patients have asked me about uh, recently, um, especially patients who are suffering with uh, dementia, uh, have just been recently diagnosed with Alzheimer's. And the question was, well, how, what do my teeth have to do with dementia? A lot of people think, oh, well, nothing. And uh, that would be a simple answer to the question, but it's actually quite complicated. And there's a lot of studies, recent studies that have come through that show that there is a correlation between your teeth, but in particular gum disease and dementia, especially Alzheimer's. So we asked the question, well, what is Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's is one of the most common form of dementia. It's actually a chronic degenerative disease of the brain tissue. And what happens is um, we start to lose our memory, we have behavioral changes, we start to lose our ability to speak properly, and it affects our everyday life. It starts very simply as maybe just a little bit of memory loss and then it progresses and affects how we function. So um, what they found recently is that one of the causes of this dementia is inflammation of the brain cells. And uh, when the brain cells become inflamed, this is what kickstarts and gets the diagnosis of dementia and Alzheimer's. So we asked the question, well, what studies have come out that show us that there's a correlation between gum disease and our brain cells? Well, what they did is when they sectioned these brains that had Alzheimer's, or in the patients that had Alzheimer's, they found that the type of bacteria that you find in the mouth, and a lot of them are only found in the mouth, were found in the brain tissue as well. Uh, so, okay, what does this mean for us then? Well, what is gum disease? Gum disease is anything that is classified from gingivitis all the way to chronic periodontal disease. That's what we call it in the dental world. And what it essentially is, it's the chronic inflammatory disease. So we have the plaque and bacteria in our mouth that has, bacteri um, that has a bacteria feeding on the food. And with everyday chewing, brushing our teeth, flossing, any type of motion in our mouth, that bacteria travels throughout our body to other areas through the bloodstream. It travels through to our brain and there's a blood-brain barrier. The older we get, that blood-brain barrier is that becomes more permeable and it's bombarded over years by these bacteria and it goes through the blood-brain barrier and it lodges itself into the brain tissue and that's how we then find this, uh, the bacteria in the brain tissue. So the bottom line is this, it's pretty simple, um, maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. In our office, our mission is really to get all our patients to where they're healthy and so that they don't have future dental work going forward. But in order to make sure we don't have future dental work going forward, it's all in the maintenance. Our hygienist's job is not just to clean your teeth. Their job is to make sure that they educate you on how to use the tools that are out there. There's electric toothbrushes that make it easier, that have timers on it, um, there's soft bristle brushes that allows you to brush along the gum line. There's uh, floss, there's floss picks, which are the floss between um, the stick uh, on a fork. There are water picks, there's little proxy brushes or interproximal brushes, those are little baby bottle brushes, I call them, and they help you go in between your teeth. The idea behind this is just to reduce the amount of bacteria in the mouth. Now, yes, you're never going to get rid of all the bacteria in your mouth, but you can certainly decrease it down to a threshold that really is very manageable, that the gum tissue is now healthy and you don't have this gum disease. Dry mouth is a very common thing that we find in you know, the elderly population, so it makes the plaque and the bacteria and the food stick to the gums and the teeth much more easily, and so it accumulates over time. Um, so the, bo the bottom line of this is there's so many simple things that we can do, so many simple things we can teach you to maintain, keep everything healthy, come for your regular checkup and cleanings every three, four or six months depending on how healthy your gums are and that allows us to help you take off the stuff that you couldn't take off. And in that way, by good maintenance, we can decrease the amount of bacteria in the mouth, we can decrease the amount of bacteria traveling through the bloodstream, through our blood-brain barrier and into the brain tissue, and hopefully, long-term and over time, decrease our chances of dementia and Alzheimer's. So I hope that's gonna be helpful. Every week, we're gonna try and do a little bit of educational information based on questions that have come out that are very common that we get from our patients so that we can at least try and help you impart some information to make your whole experience um, and overall um, health, not just your oral health, but general health, uh, where it should be. So thank you for listening.